Alright, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the 5 Below Mouse Bungie right there. And you know what? Let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right into that video, right into the review. I'm going to talk about a couple things, if you should buy it, if you shouldn't. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so we actually do have the 5 Below Mouse Bungie right here. And I really have three main things that I'm going to want to cover in this video. The first one being build quality. I'm going to be talking about like what it's made of and how well it holds up. The second one's going to be aesthetics, like the looks and the design of the product. And then the third one's going to be how useful it is how it actually works as a mouse bungee and like if it really works what doesn't work about it and what does and the um, pros and cons of that so we're just gonna get right into it we're first we're gonna start with build quality and then aesthetics and then we're gonna go to usefulness and test it out with an actual mouse Alright guys, so for the first category, we're going to go right into build quality. So for the build quality, this is actually just made pretty much all up of plastic. On the bottom, we do have this little, it's like a foam thing on the bottom, and I'm going to get more into that once we're starting to talk about the design of the mouse. But it's really just made of all plastic. There are rubber things here. This is made of rubber up here at the top, and then we have obviously these metal um, bungee cord things. I'm sure there's like cords inside of them that are bungee, but then it's covered with this nice metal stuff over top. And then everything else is literally just plastic. Um, I've had this for a decent amount of time, so it is um, holding up pretty well. It doesn't really get like many nicks, although I haven't like attempted to actually like deal damage to this mouse bungee, obviously. But like just from sitting on my desk, it hasn't got scratched. It hasn't really scratched my desk as well. So that's pretty good. Um, that's really all for build quality, honestly. There's not much to talk about. It's literally just a plastic mouse spongy so I think we're gonna get right into aesthetics now all right guys so now moving on to the aesthetics of this mouse bungee and we're going to be talking about the looks and the design of it so right here um we have just obviously it's just all white um i do believe they might have a black don't quote me on that but they might have a black version as well and really it's just this this is one thing that does really annoy me though is this metallic silver color like on the actual bungee part it could be like with razors mouse bungees and stuff like they have like it colored black to match or whatever the actual color the whole entire thing is so that is one downside but then keep in mind it is also only five dollars so you can't be really expecting anything crazy those razor ones are like fifteen dollars so um that might be a determining factor if you want like a better looking mouse bungee on your desk but that is one downside to the looks of this mouse bungee um more things on the design of this bungee is um it just has obviously these two little things where you are going to be putting the mouse cord where it's going to hold the mouse cord so um i'll just demonstrate right here put it in it has these two little spots you can hook the mouse cord right in there hook it right in the canal of this mouse bungee and then you go and hook it up here and that's basically just how it works so um it actually holds the cord pretty well um one downside though is that this bottom part actually isn't the most sturdy it can hold it but it's just like these two tiny little here let me see if the camera will focus in on that yeah two tiny mini rubber things that are holding it in it's not like anything like super sturdy so um i have had it multiple times while i'm gaming just like pop right out of there it's not the most sturdy but it can hold it and it's not like a major problem i would say but it is definitely something that i wanted to mention in this review so um also for more on design the bottom of this thing is really like i think they just put this um foam pad just to kind of like protect it from like dinking up your desk and stuff but it really has no grip whatsoever like when i put it over here on my desk let me move the camera real quick over here like it has no like i can just like slide this thing around it has no grip whatsoever and like even on here like it's just not like it just moves around crazy so it's definitely not the most sturdy mouse spongy it doesn't have very much grip but it is again only five dollars so you can't be expecting anything crazy out of it but that's just something i needed to mention is that it does not have anything like very good for grip so other than that i do like the white color i think it's a very nice white it's kind of like a matte white and it's not bad i like the color it looks pretty decent overall the mouse bungee doesn't look horrible on your desk except for this um metal colored bungees but it's not that big of a problem honestly especially since like you're not going to be looking at your mouse bungee like that's not really something you do that often but if you are trying to get it to match up with your setup um the colors go fine that's not that big of a problem but other than that this mouse bungee's design is not too bad there are definitely those pros and cons that i have mentioned but i think it's about time that we move on to the actual usefulness of this bungee 
All right guys, so now moving on to the actual usefulness of the spongy, we're gonna be showing how it works with an actual mouse. Um, there definitely are cons to this mouse spongy when using it, um, but it also does work in some sort of way. So I'm gonna explain kind of like how it doesn't work and how it does work at the same time. So um, really the point of a mouse spongy is to lift your cord off the ground so that way it feels like you're using a wireless mouse versus using a wired one, which will have your cord like dragging on the ground. So in that way, this mouse bungee works fairly well. It holds the cord up off the ground, off your mouse pad, so that way you're not having that drag. So let me extend this a little bit, but one of the problems is that this mouse bungee does have is the also mouse bungees are supposed to be able to like flex like when you turn like if you go a little farther then you have it like have the cord out like this will like flex and bend towards that and like but this mouse bungee doesn't really like to do that because of the fact that it first of all has no grip on this bottom this thing can slide around fairly easily and um also the fact that um this just isn't the best design this isn't heavy enough to actually hold it so when i pull this thing literally just lifts off the ground like this mouse bungee won't even like do the bunginess that thing just comes right off the ground so that is pretty sad that it can't even like do the bungee part there's really literally no point in having this bungee on here because you could literally just have a fixed plastic thing to hold up the cord and this bungee literally does nothing so that is a pretty strong disadvantage i think they needed like more weight in the bottom it already looks fairly clunky though like this is pretty thick so i don't really know it's just not the best design and doesn't really work in that aspect but if you don't really need that aspect and you just are trying to get it to lift your mouse cord off of your mouse pad so you can feel wireless it definitely does work as you can see it is lifting it off of the ground like if i'm to take this out real quick and put it down as you can see that's going to be dragging snagging and causing all kinds of problems when you're trying to game but once you hook this thing right into these little canals and um, get it up and ready to go it does just lift it pretty perfectly off of the ground um, not really any problems with the height or the size of the bungee it works pretty great it holds it off it has made it feel better while gaming no snagging on anything the only thing i would say is the fact that this can really easily pop out in the back that can get pretty annoying to where then the cords like looking kind of like that and it just looks pretty ugly from that angle just pretty like it's just not too great in that way but other than that, it's not the worst. You got to keep in mind that this you're only going to be spending $5 for this mouse bungee. So if you're trying to stay on a budget, it's not actually too bad. It has like a little bit of give, but then it's just going to be lifting off. And overall, it's going to be preventing you from making those flicks by jerking your thing around with this giant clunky mouse bungee. So um, in that way, it's really just not very good. The only thing it's really mostly good for is lifting your cord off. So if you want just for that and you don't think you're gonna need the higher quality mouse bungee then um this definitely could work for you or if you just need like a temporary mouse bungee this thing is definitely great now we're just gonna move on to what my overall thoughts on this mouse bungee are and if you should buy it and if it's even worth the five dollars that you can get it for at your five below all right guys so for my final thoughts on this mouse bungee is it's actually not too bad for the price not too shabby it only costs five dollars and it's literally you could run to five below just pick it up and then you just have it you could get right into gaming like right away so not too bad in that aspect um there are definitely some cons to this mouse bungee um it doesn't work in every way that a normal mouse bungee should so it's definitely a disadvantage um something you're gonna have to consider when considering buying this mouse bungee it does work for lifting the drag though and if you're just needing this for like a temporary mouse bungee it's definitely gonna work it's gonna hold up your cord it's gonna make your mouse feel more wireless i wouldn't say completely wireless but it'll definitely make it feel better than it did before dragging all over your desk and stuff with the regular cord so it definitely does give you a competitive advantage um when playing games so that is good in that way it it's not the best, it's not the worst, it is only $5, so it's pretty great for the price, I would say. Um, I wouldn't consider buying this if you, like, I just, if you're thinking long term, I'd just go for something like a Razer Bungie. Um, those things look really nice, and they do actually work, like, much better than this 5 Below one, so... If you're looking for like a long-term mouse bungee, I would say go with like a higher quality product, like a Razer one. Um, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Razer. I'm just saying their products are good. Most of their stuff is good. I have a Razer mouse and a keyboard, so um, all their products are really good. 
So I would definitely would recommend that if you're looking for like a long term one. But other than that, um, this mouse budgie is not too bad, pretty decent. I would recommend getting this if you don't have a lot of money or if you're just like a kid who like doesn't have enough money to afford a higher end uh, mouse bungee. So definitely a considerable option. Uh, you're basically just gonna have to make your choice from there. But if you're just wanting to test out anyways, it's only five bucks. So like, I mean, give it a shot. It's not like it's gonna bust your bank account or something. Like you definitely could afford this. So um, overall, not too bad, not too good. Um, definitely some pros and cons, but I would say it's decent if you just need something to hold you off or you don't have very much money. But other than that, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. It helps my channel out so much and I'm just trying to really grow right now. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. You can see more tech videos. I'm going to definitely do more um, five below videos. If you guys comment down below, I will like start reviewing like every product for gaming from five below. So just comment down below if you want me to do that. I will for sure like keep uploading um, five below reviews because it's honestly enjoyable for me and I think it definitely can help some people out saving some money on some cheaper products. So yeah, make sure to comment down below if you want to see more of those. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel and yeah, that's all for today guys. See you later.